well hello everyone welcome back and nice to see you all again and i hope that your days were going well recently well in this episode and for the few next episodes i would like to share to you guys how did i set up like ik and for those who still unfamiliar with what like ik is well to put it simple like ik setup is usually used to match up our character's fit in the world as you guys could see here while my character is standing on a stair one of his foot is in the air and the other one is break through the ground and it does the same thing with the uneven ground like this and the reason why it's behaving like this is because of the capsule component this component right here so basically in game we move the capsule component instead of our characters instead of our mesh so the animation that we gave is just an illusion and to fix it we need to create a trace from our character's foot downward or upward and then we will move its hip and its foot based on the offset so now i would like to go to my main bp and to my main bp's construction script and in here i'd like to get actor transform and then i would like to break it and for this i'm just gonna use the scale and i'm just gonna break it again and i just want to use the c axis promote it as a variable name it as scale actually if you don't change your character scale in the game you don't need to create this variable but in case that in the future of your project you would like to change your character scale then you need this variable and then the next thing is i'll look at the capsule component capsule half height and then i would like to multiply it with my scale and divide it to and gonna add it here And promote it as a new variable and I'm gonna name it as IT trace distance the reason why I add another half of the capsule half height is just because I would like to give an additional trace distance and I will show you the difference later on when we arrive at the NMBP so I could show you guys more about the difference and now I would like to create a new function here and it as good IK and here I would like to add new inputs one for the trace distance and as a float the other one is the name as a name 
Then I would like to get my mesh. Get socket location. Wait here. Gonna break the vector and make vector. So within this function, I would like to do the line or sphere trace to the word. So we need um, two points, the start point and the end point for our trace. So I'd like to do this it's here. Okay, the X and Y axis both for the start and the end point is from our bone location while the z-axis is from our extra location so this one and then I need to subs subtract it with my trace distance because I need to trace downwards so I need a negative value from the z-axis and now let's do spear trace by channel and if you guys want to use line trace by channel it's okay but for me i prefer this one because i could see um, the trace hit color more clearly so this is gonna be like this and then i would like to break get result and for this I'm gonna use the impact point and gonna subtract it with this with, with the end point and I would like to break it again just use the C axis again and then out to do something like this um the reason why i need to subtract it with ik trace distance and then subtract it again with the capsule half height um is because i would like to counter to trace this um, to trace distance because of this thing I want to counter it and well yeah I'm gonna show you guys again later on when we arrive at the anim graph what's the difference and why do I set up like this so next thing is select float it is hit then let's create a return node connect it here and gonna name it as food offset and now I would like to go back to my event graph and at the event tick I would like to call my foot ik function then i would like uh, for the trace distance i would use the ik trace distance and then gonna do f in chart 2 um this would be our target this one get or total seconds Interrupt speed, let's say 25 and let's promote it again this one I'm gonna promote into um, right foot of set and 
and I'm gonna put it here and I'll do the same thing with the left foot okay and as for the hip offset what do I need to do is just pick the minimum value from our foot offsets then just gonna copy and paste it here and do the same thing okay cool oh then I would like to collapse it into a function and it as like I okay, set up because I would like to call this function in my player pp and before that I would like to add an input here so this one would be right foot and this one would be our left foot great now let's go back to our player bp add the event graph mm, i would call the event thick and call the leg i guess setup function and fill in the pool name let's try this oh sorry i forgot one thing i forgot to draw a debug type to one frame all right it works as you guys could see here when the tree when the trees hit an object in the world the trace color turned into green and we're gonna move our foot downward into the impact point and also our hip based on our minimum foot offset so i'll wrap up this episode here and in the next episode i'll continue my like ik setup and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!